Doc's Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Doc's Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. This is your look at local sports. For WHKY News, I'm Jason Savage. We begin with action from last night, high school volleyball. Western Highlands 1A, 2A conference is where we start. Drawn swept Madison 3-0. In the Mountain Foothills 7-2A conference, Patton fell to Brevard 3-0. In the Catawba Valley Athletic 2A conference last night, Bandy's sweeping Newton Conover 3-0. East Burke winning in four sets over Lincolnton, 3-1 the final there. Maiden over Bunker Hill, 3-0. And West Caldwell gets by West Lincoln in five sets, 3-2. A non-conference matchup last night, Hickory over Watauga on the road, 3-0. High school boys soccer action from last night. Non-conference matchups, Alexander Central doubling up Statesville, 2-1. Freddie Ford falls to Atkins by the final of 3-2 and West Caldwell edging out freedom one to nothing. Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute's volleyball team fell for the second time this season to Cleveland Community College three to one. Cobras lost three one to open up the season against Cleveland. The uh, Yetis would take the first set 25-16 before Caldwell won set two 25-23. But in set three, Caldwell lost 25-20, and in the final set, Cobras lost 25-18. Cobras is still 7-2 overall on the season. They'll be hosting USC Union tomorrow. Lenore Ryan News Now, brought to you by Hendrick Honda Hickory. LR Volleyball defeated Coker 3-1, opening up South Atlantic Conference play. In addition, it was the home opener for the Bears as well yesterday. Kaylee Cleaver led LR with 20 kills the junior transfer from Augusta University setting herself a career high with the Bears with those 20 kills. In fact, in the first five games of the season, she has increased her kill total in each game. Cindy Carjala had a double-double, 33 assists and 18 digs. Both were team highs. LR 5-0 to start the season. 1-0 in the South Atlantic Conference. Now, this matches the five-game winning streak to open up the 2019 season for the Bears. LR now sets their sights on matching the 2018 squad, who opened up their season with seven straight wins. LR will try to do that this weekend, beginning Friday at the Mount Olive Invitational. They'll be facing Concord and the host school Mount Olive on Friday before taking on Edinburgh and Shaw on Saturday. Lenore Ryan Women's Golf opened up the fall season, finishing in eighth place among 17 teams at the Anderson University Erskine Fall Kickoff held at the Lynx at Stony Point in Greenwood, South Carolina. Jaya Wilkinson led the Bears with an 18th place finish on the individual leaderboard. She fired a 13 over par for the tournament, highlighted by an even par round two. Bears will next compete at the Savannah Lakes Ladies Fall Invitational that will be held at the Monticello Golf Club the 23rd and 24th of September. And speaking of the Monticello Golf Club, that's where the Little Orion men's team competed at the Bearcat Fall Invitational where they finished 15th in McCormick, South Carolina. As a team, the Bears shot a 29 over par, their opening round seven over being the best round. Now Newton Conover grad Holt Allison fired a four under par for the tournament. That came with a field second best six under in the final round, finishing in a 13th place spot on the individual leaderboard for the tournament. The Bears' next event is the Jay Jennison Cup in St. Augustine, Florida, September 23rd and 24th. And finally, with several high-profile opponents set to visit Varsity Gym, which has been upgraded via seating and visual enhancements for this upcoming season, Appalachian State Wrestling announced their complete schedule and season ticket availability. The Mountaineers' home schedule will include visits from non-conference foes in West Virginia on November 22nd, a Friday night before a November 23rd home football game against James Madison, Virginia Tech on Sunday, January 19th, and Duke on Monday, January 20th, as well as Southern Conference counterparts Chattanooga on Sunday, February 9th, and Campbell on Sunday, February 23rd. One of those three teams always ends up winning the Southern Conference Wrestling Championship. As always, there is much more available online at our website, whky.com.